in this video, I just want to talk to you for a moment about the absolute amazing ability a wildlife pond has uh, in terms of encouraging and attracting and supporting an enormous amount of life throughout the uh, course of a year. Now, take a look at this. No, they're not dead, I can assure you. These, if you didn't already know, are the spent cases, if you like, of the nymphs of dragonflies, such as four-spotted chaser, emperor dragonflies, broad-bodied chasers, that have all emerged from this pond behind me, that I've been clearing out the uh, greater reed mace and some of the blanket weed of this pond. Uh, it's one that I built four or five years ago. And they've all been collected today from the surface of the water. That's without me even checking the edges or anything else, I just haven't got time. But there's 57 cases uh, of nymphs that I've found just on the surface of the water that have dropped off the stems once they've climbed out the water, pupated and turned into these amazing acrobatic insects. So if that hasn't inspired you to get a wildlife pond, I don't know what will. Uh, and by all means, don't think that this pond, although it's 15 metres across, uh, is absolutely the size you need to go for. Size isn't everything. Even the tiniest of ponds, even a barrel pond, as you will have seen in my previous How to Make a Wildlife Barrel video, uh, can support an amazing amount of wildlife throughout the course of a year. So if you haven't thought about having a wildlife pond, I strongly recommend them. They're absolutely amazing. At the moment, there's the constant clattering of emperor dragonflies, four spotted chasers, broad body chasers, all behind me, azure damselflies, large red damselflies, and they're all absolutely loving this amazing habitat. Uh, and there's been swallows uh, zipping down to get some water on the wing uh, when I've been out the pond. So please, if you can, get a wildlife pond. I promise you, it'll be the best thing you put in your garden. Thank you.